Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the first Google Plus Hangout for 2015. My name is Luca Ganano, and I'm joined tonight by Troy Menzel. Troy, welcome. Thanks for having me, Luca. We're broadcasting here from Mount Buller, our 2015 training camp. And Troy, do you want to take us through what happened today? Yeah, so today was um, a pretty full-on day. Started off with um, the boys in the training track back in Melbourne for a pretty pretty solid session, and um, a little quick weight session. We headed up to to Mount Buller and um, about 16, 17 k's out, we to jump out of the bus and um, ride up the mountain to, to the top. So that was a pretty grueling bike ride, but uh, all the boys got through and and uh, put some, some sore boys tomorrow. And the the plan for the rest of the trip? What's um? Do you, do you guys know what's coming up ahead? Yeah, so I think we got a couple of training sessions while we're up here and um, just a few team activities and team bonding. Um, things that we'll do over the next few days, but um, I think it'll just be a little, bit, a little bit of fun as well over the next couple of days. Yeah, excellent. Well, tonight we're joined by Paul, Sharon and Steve who have jumped on um, their Google Plus accounts and who will be asking um, Troy a few questions throughout the broadcast. We've also had hundreds of questions posted to us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Google Plus, <coughs> so we'll be reading a few of those out as well. But we might get started with Paul. Paul, you've got a question for Troy? Yeah, I do. Um, I'm just looking back at like replays and stuff of those close matches that we had throughout the year. Um, what have Mick and the coaching panels? I'm sure they've told you to do a few things differently. What have they sort of have they given you any advice on what to actually do when when those matches get those get that close against those big teams? Or has he gone through any sort of specific things? Um, yeah, it's a very good question, Paul. Um, I think the big thing for us was uh, probably our mindset going into those last quarters and the last few minutes where the game's on the line. And um, something that we try to implement this year is has been really team first attitude and what we want to bring to the table in those situations and what we can do to to get over the line as a team rather than falling away and having those narrow losses. With that yeah. goal that you kicked against West Coast, I've looked back at the footage a few times and you had Jared White to your left. I think you had Jeffy to your right as well. Any thought to dish it off? Um, I was pretty confident in the only well, Jer Jerry was running onto his left, so I thought I'd back yeah. myself to have him. <laughs> Absolutely. Sharon, you've got a question for Troy? Yes, I do. Um, Go. How do you think Carlton will um, fight against the Lions at the Annie Hand Stadium and at the Gabba? Uh, this year? Yeah, yes. Um, yeah, I think we'll just approach it like we're playing any other game, really. We'll um, go through our opposition analysis and um, and what we want to put in place to, to beat them, our structures and all that. And then I guess we'll just be on the day for us to go out there and, and execute those those plans and those structures. So if we can do that, then hopefully we can come away with a win. They certainly built up a nice, strong midfield in the off-season. Yeah, they've done some very good recruiting. So... Um, it'll definitely be a new, new, improved team next year, so it'll be a good match. Absolutely, looking forward to that one. Steve, your question for Troy. Yeah, Troy, just wondering what the um, the impact that Juddy re-signing last year might have had on on the group and yourself personally. Um, on the group, it was massive. Massive, obviously. Um, having Juddy go around again is um, would be big for for any club. So um, to just have his experience. Um, his knowledge around the club to, to hand on to the younger boys and, and the rest of the team is, is invaluable, invaluable and I guess probably for me myself it um, showed me that he had belief in, in the squad we have and, and the team we have and that gave me some belief. Troy, uh, a couple of questions from Facebook tonight. Uh, Dominic Galati asks, which player do you think will make the greatest improvement this year? Um, a very good question. I think you... I wouldn't say improvement, but I think you can't go past Matthew Cruiser. Yeah. Um, he am obviously not really playing much at all last year. He's uh, had a pretty solid preseason, and he's and he's training the house down at the moment, so yeah. he'll be very good for us this year. Absolutely. Nadia Pat asks, uh, who is the best and worst worst player to room with on any away games, and why? Um, well, I actually always always room with Sam Doherty on away okay. games, and, and we get along pretty well, so it's it's pretty easy going. You haven't rooms with anyone else. Uh, well, we're actually rooming with Cruz at the camp uh, this week. Um, I haven't had one night with him yet, so I'll, I'll let you guys know. Who are the, the boys that get complaints about um, Dennis Starnfield used to be up there back he's, in the day. Oh, He's just the pest, mm. really. He's, 
just always talking, won't shut up, always trying to make jokes. Um, but I guess the guys who snore yeah. would be the big ones. So you, they disrupt your, your sleep. Maybe the older blokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. Michael Jamison. Tom. Jamison's definitely. He's always a person. Well. <laughs> Paul, have you got another question for Troy? I do. Um, which one of the new recruits do you think will uh, play in round one? Which, which which of the boys do you think are uh, flying on the track at the moment? I think out of all the new recruits, Liam Jones has been very good on the training track, and um, he's just such a powerful, powerful man that he'll be, he'll bring a lot to to the forward line. And um, if we can see him get up for round one, I think he'll do big things for us. But out of the the young boys, um, it's tough to say. They've all come in. And, I made a pretty good impression. Um, they've been training really solid, and um, you can see the intent there that they all want to break into the team really early. So uh, I think e either one of them could jump up and be really good for us. Good to Sharon, know. do you have another question for Troy? Yeah, I do. Um, what car would you pick? A 971 Dodge Charger or or B4 F40 Ferrari? No, well, one of the above has to be a, uh, <laughs> a, uh, a Hyundai i30. It's right? got to be a Hyundai i30. Darren, that's the car of your choice, isn't it? I think it's a car of your choice. <laughs> no arguments here with me. Steve, have you got another question for Troy? Yeah, Troy, just with your pre-season, just wondering um, what are you what have you been focusing on for this pre-season? Are you doing anything in the last couple of seasons? Um, yeah, for me, it's actually been my first full pre-season um, since I've been at the club, so uh, the focus for me has just been able to build up that that fitness base and, and work from there. And um, I guess I, one focus I've had as well is to is to be really strong in, in marking contests and, and on the ground. So that's something I've been trying to put in place at the end of trainings and and that to just really improve on for me. Mm. And no issues with your fitness in this preseason. I know that you had a, a, a stop start sort of preseason last year. Yeah, I was. Um, I've seen myself improve out of sight, really. Yeah. It's just being able to train every week, it's, it just makes a mass, massive difference here. And obviously, you came to the AFL, and you know your, your problems with your knee were pretty well known. Any issues at all with, with how you copped a knock to it last year at one stage and uh, had the footy public a little bit worried? Yeah, no, that was just a, that was just not really much in it, but yeah, my knee was oh, it's only about five, six years ago yeah. now, so I see that as well behind me. And, um, although there might be a lot of talking about, I don't see it as an issue at all. I don't see it as a hindrance. Um, I don't see it as a bad knee at all. Yeah, or anything. I just see myself yeah. as healthy. Yeah, great. We've got a couple more questions from Facebook. Um, the, uh, Jenny Stevenson wanted to know what's the best thing about playing for the Carlton Football Club. <coughs> um, I guess just being able to pull on that jumper uh, week in, week out, to be able to represent such a historical and successful club. Um, Greg Green's just thrown in there to be coached by himself <laughs> as uh, one of the best things. But, yeah, I guess just, just you know, represent the Carlton Football Club each week. And um, Lance Claxton asks whether you've got any pre-match superstitions. Um, I'm pretty pretty laid back. I know a lot of boys might eat the same thing each night before, um, do, do the same thing every morning when they wake up. But I'm really laid back. I'll, I'll eat when I feel like eating. I'll get ready when I feel like getting ready, really. I just like to be laid back and relax before the game. And is that something people develop early in their career or something? Like um, I think it's when you find something that works for you, yeah. you, you tend to stick to it more. So, um, yeah, I just see this is working for me. Guys online, do you have any more questions for Troy? Oh, hi. Yeah. I yeah, have Sharon. a question. Yeah, go um, for it. Do you, think that, do you think the Blues will be able to win the flag regards of the whole other team? Um, I think if we can play some consistent footy and um, really just develop our list and, and stick to our game plans and structures, then um, I don't see why in the next few years we can't be pushing up in, in those top four and, and playing finals footy. And, yeah, who knows, hopefully we can get on the end of the flag. Absolutely. Number 17 would be wonderful. Steve, did you have another one for oh. Troy? Yeah, just got a last one for Troy. Uh, just with this season coming up, there's um there's a few Hi, I'm kind of Rowan Connolly. Games. With me is John there's, Eric. Uh, We're here to talk uh, about the release. Of the I guess mixed record breaking game. You've got the the game in New Zealand. Um, there's been a big sort of list turnover. Does this does this seem like it's setting up to be a like a, a big year for Carlton? Um, I, I think it, it definitely could be. Um, 
the boys we we brought in and and the things we're putting in place really shows um, where we want to go and and the type of footy that we want to play um, and if if we can stick to that and um, really enforce that then I think definitely we're going in the right direction and who knows could be playing finals very soon. Well, that's the aim, absolutely the aim. And Paul, did you have a last one for Troy? Yeah, just um, a bit on a personal note, um, how's your brother faring with his knee and has that sort of um, instilled any confidence in you to sort of, you know, play on his behalf and play a bit harder just for him? Um, you know, how, how, how he's travelling with um, the injury and stuff because I know it seems to be a bit of a pain in the backside for him but um, how does that affect your footy and, and have you been um, sort of a, a motivating factor for him as well just for him to see you on the park playing too? It's a great question. Yeah, it's, it's a very good question. Um, well, good news that he is going really well at the moment. He's back training and um, he's, he's very confident in his knee at the moment. It's looking very strong and hopefully we can see him playing some VFL footy round one, um, fingers crossed. But yeah, I, I reckon probably has motivated me a little bit. Um, seeing seeing him when he's when he's at his best and at his worst um, and how he just it would give his left arm to be playing AFL footy again. So um, it's definitely definitely helps you not take it for granted, um, I guess, and um, works the other way as well. Him seeing me be able to play um, some consistent footy last year definitely motivates him to, to get back playing. We, we are very competitive brothers, so um, definitely me playing out of footy and him not would, would definitely get on his nerves, so um, he, he was going to get back playing at some stage. Yeah, we definitely wish him the best of luck. Um, we've had a new uh, a new member join up. Uh, ben, welcome to the Hangout. Yeah, g'day. Yeah. How are you, you got Troy? a question for Troy? Yeah, yeah, I do, actually. I just wondered, uh, who, who's your biggest influence in the club as far as the game you play? Who's probably your, your greatest mentor um, as a player? It's, it's a very good question. Uh, well, my mentor of the club actually is Bryce Gibbs. Um, I've got him because I, I want to look to push into the midfield <clears throat> hopefully at some stage this year. And um, I think Bryce being last year's John Nickel medalist, who better to, to show you the ropes Absolutely. than him. Um, but I think really early on, in my first couple of years was Eddie Betts. He was really, really good for me. Obviously, um, a great small forward. Um, yeah. Just having him like, share his experience and his knowledge with you was was very helpful. It's mm. a great question, and and I guess that ties into a question that we received on Facebook from Matt Path, who asked. Um, it's been mentioned that you might spend more time in the midfield. How likely is that to happen this year? Um, yeah, if I can play some consistent senior footy and, and some good footy, then um, I'd love to push in there. And uh, if there's a spot for me in there, then um, I'd be more than happy to, to do it. Probably got a couple more minutes left, guys, if anyone's got any last-minute questions. Sharon, have you got another question for Troy? Um, once, once Troy Mensah... See, the Troy Mensah had a um, cartoon show as childhood. Favourite cartoon show? <laughs> um, probably... It's a great question. Yeah, probably not really cartoon, but animation. The Simpsons. Uh, I don't think yeah. really things go go wrong. That seems to be getting better the older you get. So that's probably my favourite. Yeah, that's fine. Ben, you've got a question? Yeah, yeah. Just, um, I mean, they, they talked a lot about your your knees uh, when you um, you know coming into Carlton, but I mean, you've had a couple of good years now, and they seem to be holding together pretty. Pretty well. Are they getting stronger and stronger as you go? Do you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, the more time I'm I'm in the gym in in the rehab room, um, I just see it. <clears throat> see, see me and my knees as getting stronger. Like I, I said before, I don't really see it as as an issue, as a problem, or, or anything to me. Um, I see it long behind me, and um, I don't even really. The only time I think about it is, is if I get asked about it. So um, I don't really see it as, as an issue at all. Yeah, yeah. Guys, they've been fantastic questions tonight. Really appreciate all of you jumping on and all the questions on Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus and Twitter that we received. Thank you very much for uh, for sending those through. Troy, thanks for being part of our first Google Plus hangout of 2015. No worries. Thanks, And uh, we'll be doing these pretty regularly throughout the year, so if you'd like to be involved, uh, shoot us an email, digital at carltonfc.com.au or send us a tweet at carltonfc. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Good luck.